Hello friends, I want to have a coffee and then I want to talk about operating systems for a moment. Because we have a lot of discussions lately about uh, there will be a big exodus from Windows to Linux or from Mac OS to Linux, however, I see it th this way. When you are going to a hardware store to buy a drill, what you actually want is not a drill, you want a hole. And the same is true for operating systems. You don't want an operating system for the operating system itself, but for what it enables you to do. And this is true for the majority of users. Of course, there are people who drill holes for a living and who want to know every single aspect of the drill they are going to buy because they have to use it for different projects for different clients. And when it comes to operating systems and you are in the IT business, you need to know more than the user knows because you have to deliver support. But for the normal user, what's the majority of all operating system users, it doesn't matter that much. Just like it doesn't matter for a lot of people what's going on under the hood of their car. They get, they get their car and if there's something wrong, they bring it to a garage where are people who know what's going on under the hood. That's it. What people want is when it comes to operating systems, they want to run specific software in some cases and not even in all cases. Uh, most people want to browse the internet, use office applications and manage their data. That's all. They want to know where they save their text file or where they have to start their uh, browser and that's it. They don't want to know every single aspect. They use it just like People use a drill to get a hole in the in the wall and hang up their uh, their paintings. There are these misconceptions that users seek the operating system itself. They don't. They look to Windows for compatibility with certain software. They look for Mac OS to, for creative tools, and they look for Linux for customization and control. If they dive deep enough, they can have it all in whatever operating system they are using. I see that as a big misconception. Another misconception when it comes to Linux users is that they want everything for free. No, they don't want to everything for free. They don't want uh, necessarily anything for free. Of course, cost can be a factor. And the primary reason for choosing Linux often includes the choice of control, uh, the desire for customization, freedom of fender lock-in, and the philosophical reason of support for open so uh, source principles and uh, the performance and security because Linus has, an, a rep has a reputation when it comes to that. There's a reason that Microsoft runs their data centers on Linux and not on Microsoft Windows and that all the internet servers are running on Linux and not on Windows. There's a reason for that. But uh, saying that Linux users are all sheep goats who want everything for free no, it's not the case. Linux users or people who now consider Linux over Windows, they would be willing to pay for Linux. They want to have the choice. They not only want the program compatibility with the programs they are using, that would be in my case, for example, and that would be in your case, something different. In my case, it would be, it has to run DaVinci Resolve, Unreal Engine, Blender, and this kind of stuff. For you, it can be a total different package what you want to run. We all want an ease of use. The importance of user-friendly interfaces is undeniable and the ease of access and functions. And we want to uh, be able to organize our data. We want to know where our drives are, our volumes, and that's it. But saying that we wouldn't want to pay for an operating system, that's just ignorant because we don't want to be forced fed. That's the main reason that people dislike Microsoft Windows. 
They don't want to be forced to be in love with it. The forced choice that people have to accept uh, when they don't build their computers on their own, it's uh, kind of disgusting. You buy a computer because you don't want to go through the hassle building in itself. And then you have to buy an operating system that comes with it. You don't even have the choice. And that's what people hate about it. Not the operating system itself, it's a principle. People have the desire for the options and they are frustrated of not being able to easily opt for a different operating system without the technical know-how or additional cost. If they go and buy a computer and they want a different operating system, of course they can have that, but they still have to pay for Windows. Go to a shop and buy a computer, you will get it with Windows if you want or not. Even if you know, oh no, when I come home, I will put a Linux distro on it, but you had to pay a big chunk for Microsoft Windows. And now with all the discussions going on, I have, for example, Windows 10 on my computer that I built myself. And when the end of service date is here, I will not switch to Windows 11. I will not switch something on in the BIOS to make it compatible. I don't want that. I want to run Linux. So I'm experimenting on different computers with Linux because I'm new to Linux. It reminds me a little bit on the Amiga DOS. It's probably because it's based on Unix. So it looks a little bit familiar. There are, of course, things that I forgot how they worked. And then there comes that memory back from, oh yeah, it was that difference. So I try different distros already on different computers. And yeah, I like it. I also know that the computer will be faster. It's already fast, but it will be faster. It's like, in my opinion, if you run Microsoft Windows with all the services and everything what runs in the background, it's like driving with the handbrake on compared to Linux. Because Linux just makes better use of your hardware. And yeah, that's, that's important. And also for me, customization becomes more and more important. It can be very frustrating because you have to dive deeper into it. But for the normal use case, just internet, office applications and so forth, there is absolutely no reason, in my opinion, not to use a Unix distro, for example. Absolutely no reason. For me, there is absolutely no reason not to jump from Microsoft Windows to Linux. And it's also a, a principle question. I just don't want to be forced fed where they just can say, okay, but our operating system is dead. Now here's a new one, but pay us. No, I don't. I don't do that. I want to end with that understanding users needs is crucial in the technology industry. Just like understanding that someone buying a drill just wants a hole. And that's it. I don't think that I forgot anything. I wish you a great day ahead and goodbye. And uh, now I'm going for a walk, even though I will probably post this video after that. Okay, goodbye.